Hi YouTube and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes and today I want to do a short tutorial on how to create an ocean in Maya. It's pretty neat. It's not that hard because it's a preset but uh, it's kind of tricky to find out where it is and how to set it up. So that's what I want to show you today. Okay, here we go. So you make sure you're in your basic screen, that you're in polygons, you got your grid set up. You go up here to Windows, go to General Editors and go to Visor. Now this Pfizer has a load of presets, all kinds of stuff, but today we're going to concentrate on the ocean. Okay, you go up here to the tab Ocean Examples. And we're going to select a nice rough ocean today. So we're going to go with Giant Storm Animation. Alright, we're going to hit that and we're going to middle mouse click it and drag it to the grid. Alright, minimize that. Now already you got a pretty basic setup here for an ocean and it's not just a, a still picture it's actually an animation so if you go down here and you change that to for example 400 and you hit play you'd see that that's moving. Now obviously it's not really looking like an ocean yet because we didn't render it but you know that's the general idea alright so we're gonna stop that go back and I'll show you what one still looks like when you render this so you get the general idea. Okay, Go to render settings. Now my preference is to use Metal Ray but you can use uh, you know uh, my software as well. So Metal Ray, I'm going to go with uh, enable color management. I'm going to go to indirect lighting and click on global animation and find the gallery. Um, I'm not going to do um, an extremely high um, resolution because it's going to take way too long. And in common, I'm going to keep um, the size you know, nice and small so it doesn't take forever. Okay. All right. So we're going to hit render. And hopefully this doesn't take forever. Hope not. That's well, not too bad. And already you can see this is looking pretty realistic. So uh, it's one of the really cool features in Maya. Now, if you would batch render this scene, you would see a very realistic moving ocean, which is uh, nice. It's going to take a while, but it's nice. And you can do all sorts of stuff. You can have objects floating in the ocean and uh, all kind of neat tricks that you can do. Um, if you don't know how to batch render, um, there are tutorials out there on YouTube that will explain you how to do that. But uh, for now, this is uh, you know how to find that preset and how to set it up. I'll give it another second so you can see you know what the final result is looking like. Yep, almost there. All right, so this is the end result. And uh, hope you like it. And thanks for watching, and see you the next time. Bye bye.